In this problem, we're told a bicycle wheel has an initial angular velocity of 1.5 radians per second. A. If its angular acceleration is constant and equal to 0.2 radians per second squared, what is its angular velocity at t equals 2.5 seconds? And then B is through what angle has the wheel turned between t equals 0 and t equals 2.5 seconds? So in order to solve this problem, we're going to use uh, rotational kinematics, which are basically kinematics, but with uh, variables for rotation. So before we solve the problem, let's write down what we're given. So here's our given. So what do they tell us? They tell us its initial angular velocity is 1.5 radians per second. So angular velocity, the variable we use for that is omega, right? It kind of looks like a w. So essentially, this is omega. And we can say omega 0 for uh, initial, right? So the initial angular velocity, they tell us, is 1.5 radians per second. So that's the initial angular velocity. And so for a, they're telling us that the angular acceleration is constant, and it's equal to 0.2 radians per second squared. So angular acceleration, we write as alpha. So this is alpha, looks uh, like that. And so essentially, it's 0.2 radians per second squared, right? So we're also given time, right? So time is going to be its angular velocity at t equals 2.5 seconds. So t equals 2.5 seconds. So the way you want to think about these are just like normal kinematic equations, right? You know the normal ones. It's like v equals v sub 0 plus a times t. But essentially what we do is replace velocity with omega, or the angular velocity, and then a, the acceleration, is the angular acceleration, or alpha, right? t is just the same. So what we can do is use these equations, but with the replace variables. So this would just be this right here. So omega equals omega 0 plus alpha times t. And so what we can do is use these to solve. So let's go ahead and start with a. So what is a asking us for? So a, we're trying to find uh, the angular velocity at t equals 2.5 seconds. So what do we want to use? So if you look up online, they'll show you all the equations. But the one we're going to use is the one I just said, right? So this one right here. So omega equals omega 0 plus uh, alpha times t, right? And so look how this works. We have omega 0, the initial angular velocity. We have alpha, the acceleration. And then we have t, the time. So what we can do is find um, the angular acceleration at this time, right? So this is what it's going to allow us to do. So we can just plug it in and solve. So omega 0 is just 1.5. And we need to do this. Uh, make sure it's in radians per second. Uh, your alpha needs to be in radians per second squared, and then t needs to be in seconds. So just keep that in mind. Uh, but all we have to do is just plug in. So 1.5 plus alpha, which is 0.2, multiplied by 2.5, which is t, right? So if you do this, you're going to get omega equals uh, 2. So you're just going to get 2. Let me actually plug it in and check. So 1.5 plus... 0.2 times 2.5. Yeah, so you're going to get 2, and then the units are going to be the same as this one right here, right? We measure it in radians per second. So this right here will be your answer to A, right? So 2 radians per second. So let's move on to B now. So what's B? B is going to be the distance, or through what angle has the wheel turned uh, between t equals 0 and t equals 2.5 seconds? So the one we're going to use for this one is, if you think about the normal kinematics, we know that delta x equals v sub 0 times t plus 1 half a t squared, right? Delta x, in this case, is distance, right? But for rotational, it's going to be the change in the angle, right? So this is the one we're going to use to solve, okay? So, but remember, all the variables are changed. So this is going to be change in theta, or we can just call it theta in this case, since it's going to really start from 0. Theta equals omega 0 times t plus 1 half alpha t squared. Right, so this is the rotational version, and we'll, look what we can do. We can plug in omega 0, 1.5. We know the time because it's, it's from 0 to 2.5 seconds. But we're assuming at the initial point it hasn't turned at all, right? So since it's not turned at all, we can just plug in 2.5 into this. So that's just what we're going to do. So we have omega, or omega 0, we have 2.5, and we have alpha, 0.2. So what we can do is just plug it in, right? So let's go ahead and do that. So theta is equal to 1.5, right? times uh, time, right? It's going 2.5 seconds long, so times 2.5 plus 1 half times alpha, which is uh, 0.2, and then multiply that by t. So t is uh, 2.5 again, right? So let's go ahead and do this. So plug in your calculator. So do 1.5 times 2.5 plus 1 half times 0.2 times 2.5 squared. So when you go ahead and do this, you're going to get 
it equals 4.375. And then the units, keep in mind what we're using, we're using radians. So radians is essentially, like you do these in meters usually, right? The normal ones. So radians are just like the meters. So this theta is measured in radians. So this is just gonna be 4.375 rad or radians, right? So 4.375 radians, uh, this is your answer to B. This right here was your answer to A. But yeah, so that's how you solve this and hopefully you found it useful.